Cheers, VC. This Guinness is for you, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm here to do another VCLT video. I know I've uh, hit a few of them recently. It's been my, my latest output has been VCLT videos. Uh, this one is goes out to Brett life on this planet blog uh, he just recently did a VCLT video of some stuff that I sent him we, we both sort of agreed to send things uh, around the same actually what happened was that a long time ago I told him I was gonna send him some stuff and then a little while after that he said he was gonna send me some stuff and wouldn't you know it he sent his stuff before I sent mine now if anybody else has ever gotten any mail from me in the VC that doesn't surprise you <laughs> because I am not the VC's fastest mailer uh, I do you know I do get stuff out and I you know I try and make it worth people's while and uh, Ian man I don't know if you're watching but oh god I am long overdue with a package of stuff I was going to send you um, but it, it it is on its way. I know you're kind of like shocked to hear that, but it's it's on its way, man. It's coming. So, <laughs> thanks for your patience, man. Oh, that's good stuff. Anyway, Brett sends me a package, and um, his arrived before mine arrived. His arrived here before mine arrived there, and yet he did his video before I did mine if that makes any sense. I think I got that right. The long and short of it is, is that he's totally on the ball with things and I'm totally not. So I apologize for that. But that does not make my thank you any less sincere. Um, he sent me some records and other things in an amoeba bag. I don't know if you saw any of his latest... Um, well, it wouldn't be as late as now, but uh, he did a trip out to California and out to Amoeba uh, a month or two ago. And uh, it sounded like he had an awesome, awesomely good time, but went to Amoeba and uh, bought some stuff and was kind enough to send me one of the bags that he bought some stuff in at that store. So very cool, very cool to have that as part of my bag collection. You know, and I was thinking in another video I mentioned something about people sending me bags, record store bags, and I listed a bunch of people, and I forgot to mention that Brett also sent me a bag, I think he did, I think it's, I think I have that one, I'm pretty sure, uh, sent me a bag from Zia Records in, uh, yeah, he did, he did, sent me a bag from Zia Records in, in uh, Arizona, so very cool to get that. Um, in this bag, <laughs> What's in my bag, you ask? Well, let me show you. Uh, in this bag, first of all, lots of cool record store swag. In addition to the Amoeba bag, there is a postcard, greetings from Amoeba Music in Berkeley, California. Very cool. It's awesome. I, that's a Mecca. I know that's a Mecca for a lot of people, but that's a Mecca for me. I have had uh, two or three friends that live in this area uh, visit Amoeba already. Well, two that I can think of visit Amoeba. And, I mean, the way they described it, uh, sent me some pictures from inside the store and everything. Uh, you know, I'm just drooling over here. And, of course, anybody in the vinyl community who's ever been out there, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, here I am living in the, in the middle of America here, I gotta get to Amoeba someday. I gotta, I don't know, maybe just hop on a plane and go out there. That'd be one expensive record store trip, I'll tell you that, to take a plane out there. I gotta do it though. I gotta get out to that store. A card from Stinkweeds in Phoenix. Record store out there. Very cool. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. 
M Theory Music. This is a new and used records in San Diego, California. I don't know if he picked that up when he was out in California too. Pretty cool insignia there. Uh, a note, of course, with uh, Catman, Cat Hanger Man. I guess that is. He's drawn this on something else that he sent me too. It's a cat, but it's a coat hanger. Uh, placard card, little ad card for Susie and the Banshees Manta Ray. Actually, it's not Susie and the Banshees, it's just Susie Solo from Manta Ray. I have that. I actually only have it on CD, but I like it a lot. And let's see, the record room. Scottsdale. No, not Scottsdale. It's on Scottsdale Road. I don't know where the hell it is. My assumption would be... Uh, south of Camelback. Scottsdale Road, south of Camelback. Record Room. I think I've heard Brett talk about the Record Room. Sent me a 7-inch from an artist I absolutely love, Kate Bush. This is uh, running up that hill on the A side and under the Ivy on the B side. I, I mentioned in another video at some point that I now believe that there are certain parts of my collection that are communal in the sense that a number of people in the vinyl community have contributed to them. And one of those, probably the, the one that is at the top of the list, is Kate Bush. Because I have had a number of very, very generous people in the vinyl community contributing to my Kate Bush collection. And I, I do not... Uh, not discount that at all. I think that's awesome. And I love that you guys are part of my Kate Bush collection. I'm a huge Kate Bush fan and I love that you guys have all sort of contributed something. Uh, and I, you know, little notes and stuff in those things to remind me of who contributed what. So, Brett, thank you. Running up that hill, Kate Bush. Um, sent me four record albums. And I want to decide what order I want to go through these in. I'm going to go through them in this order. Uh, first one, uh, he and I connected over uh, Bauhaus and Peter Murphy, uh, solo Peter Murphy in particular. Uh, we, we share a lot of the same tastes, but those two in particular, I know we, we've had numerous conversations about and like each other's posts and so on and so forth. Um, but when Bauhaus broke up and sort of went their separate ways, I followed Peter Murphy but I never really followed any of the other band members. I knew of their other projects, but I didn't buy them or listen to them. So here's one. This is Tones on Tail. This is uh, Daniel Ash, I think, the guitarist. If I got that right. So Tones on Tail, the album Pop. Really cool stuff. I really enjoyed this. Um, I was, I, you know, it's a band that I knew by name, but did not know their music. So I thoroughly enjoyed this. Very good sort of post-punk pop sounding album. Uh, definitely, definitely up my alley. Or as Brett would say, definitely in my wheelhouse. So that was very cool. Let's see if I can set this on the table without knocking the beer over. Along those same lines, um, a while ago I posted um, a video where I had found my very first Love and Rockets record. It was their debut. Here is the album just called Love and Rockets, I believe. Yeah, just Love and Rockets. Awesome cover. Um, so yeah, uh, Brett sent me this. Don't have this, obviously. This is my second uh, Love and Rockets album in my collection. Um, I have to admit I haven't spun this yet. I apologize. I know I've had it for a while, but uh, I'm you know, playing some things and this one I just haven't gotten to yet, but I am looking forward to it because I enjoyed the, the other Love and Rockets record that I that I have. A little, little break here a second. Gotta do a Guinness break every now and then. This one, um, he, he wrote me about this. He actually wrote me and said, do you know the band Shelly Ann Orphan? And of course, there are so many bands that I only know by name. And this was one of them. I only knew Shelly Ann Orphan by name. I didn't really know anything about her. And uh, 
So he was happy to find out that I did not know Shelly Ann Orphan. And so uh, this is why, because he was plotting to send me something. This is a Century Flower from Shelly Ann Orphan. The singer, whose name I forget right now, is pretty amazing. There's no, is there any liner notes in there? Some liner notes. Um, but it's just a, a beautiful singer. This was nothing really like I expected. And yet, that's not to diss it at all. This was a wonderful, wonderful album. Really good listen. Um, on Rough Trade, it looks like. Columbia is the label, but it looks like their original label here was the Rough Trade. Gorgeous music. Gorgeous instrumentation. Um, Non-typical pop rock instrumentation. There's some strings and things like that in here. Um, and the singer, like I said, I wish I could remember her name now. I probably should have looked that up uh, before I made the video. I did when I first listened to this record, and now I've forgotten again. It sucks getting old. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you so much for this, Brett. This is, this is a really gorgeous album, and I really love it. And I'm so glad you turned me on to this band. Um, one more record from Brett, and this one, this one just blew me away. Um, Another band that he and I have connected on is Ministry, uh, in particular the Ministry from around the time of uh, The Mind is a Terrible Thing to Taste. And um, he at one point posted that he had found this single for Burning Inside. And uh, Thieves is also on here as well, the 12-inch remix of Thieves, and then also Smothered Hope. But he posted that he had found this, and I just went gaga over the post. And I was like, oh, man, that's awesome. Oh, i got to find one of those. i got to, you know. The typical kind of thing you do when somebody posts something that you really, really love to see. Um, and when this arrived, I had no idea. I mean, I really did not know that he was going to send me this record. And it just blew me away. And then when I heard him talking about it at one point, it, it, I, think, I think he said this in a video where this was the very same one that he found. So in other words, he didn't find this one and then find another one and send one to me. I think, if I remember correctly, and Brett, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think he sent me the very one that he found, which means he doesn't have one right now. So if that's the case, over the top generous. I mean, it's generous any way you look at it, but I mean, over the top generous if you sent me your only copy of this, man. I feel kind of guilty now. But, uh, anyway, absolutely ass-kicking music here. Burning Inside from Ministry, from that era. Burning Inside and Thieves are both from Mind is a Terrible Thing to Taste. Um, I, I have to admit that, and I like, both the 12-inch remix of Burning Inside and the 12-inch remix of Thieves are on here. And uh, I, I have to admit that they both kind of blow me away. I like Thieves, even though this is sort of um, titled Burning Inside. The version of Thieves on here is just killer absolutely killer. I had this on the other day and I was down here in the music room and I just had it cranked up and man I could not sit still. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for all the other wonderful music. Very much appreciated all the record store swag and the bag and all the extra goodies like there. I uh, I am blessed with uh, with folks like you man. You just you treat me you treat me too well I swear. Uh, anyway, I um, hope you're enjoying some of the stuff that I sent your way, and uh, as I mentioned to you, I've already got a pile. I do this actually for, there's a couple people where I just sort of find myself automatically thinking as I'm out digging, oh, you know, so-and-so would, would really like this. Um, so I've already got a couple things set aside for you. Anyway, uh, thank you so much. Cheers to you. Thank you so much, and cheers to the rest of the vinyl community. Long live the VCLT.